What's up guys, it's your boy Denver Koki representing Gange Gange as a sporty and this is yet another Champions League edition. Now this is how it went down in the game week 2 of this season's UEFA Champions League group stage. Uh, Victoria Pilsen were beaten 2-0 uh, by Inter Milan thanks to goals from Edin Dzeko and Dumfries after they uh, went down to 10 men thanks to a red card. And then elsewhere Tottenham were shocked away from home by two goals to nil thanks to late goals from Paulinho and Arthur Gomez to give Sporting Lisbon all the three points. And yet in another match which had late drama, Liverpool beat Ajax Amsterdam uh, by two goals to one. They had previously gone ahead to a Mohamed Salah's effort before it was cancelled out by Mohamed Kudus. Mohamed Kudus has now scored in the last four consecutive games for Ajax. Amsterdam is in a rare form. Joel Matip rose highest very very late on in the match to with a thumping header to give Liverpool all the three points. Elsewhere, Bayern Munich has stamped a routine defeat on Barcelona as they won 2-0 at home. Uh, in the last 14, that means in the last 14 games between these two sides, uh, Bayern Munich have won a whooping 10 games. That's a very terrible hunting ground for Barcelona, one that they obviously dread uh, to run into. And then yet in another shocking result, Club Brugge pulled up with a stunning performance to beat FC Porto at their home ground by four goals to nil. That means FC Porto have now lost four consecutive Champions League matches for the first time in history. That is a very shocking result from FC Porto and their coach at large. And then in another match, Olympic Marseille continued with a very terrible home run in the Champions League as they lost yet again. They were beaten by a solitary goal by Eintracht Frankfurt who are uh, the defending Europa League champions. And then in another Tuesday result, Atletico Madrid uh, also produced a very awful performance as they lost at Bayer Arena to Bayer Leverkusen by two goals to nil thanks to a man of the match performance from Chelsea Loni Hudson Odoi. And then in uh, Wednesday's result, Shakhtar Donetsk were held at home uh, by Celtic. They drew 1 1. And then AC Milan comfortably won at home by three goals to one over Dynamo Zagreb thanks to goals uh, from Olivier Giroud and the rest. And then yet in another match, Rangers uh, continued to see stars in the Champions League as they lost heavily at home to Napoli by three goals to zero. Tanguin Ndobele finally opened his uh, Napoli account in Europe as he was one of the goal scorers alongside Raspadori. And then uh, Chelsea's turmoils in Europe continued as they were held to a one all draw by uh, RB Salzburg from Austria uh, thanks to a goal from Ryan Sterling which was cancelled out by Okafo later on in the second half. Elsewhere, Real Madrid also had to come up uh, with late late goals from uh, Fede Valverde and Marco Asensio to overcome uh, RB Leipzig at home uh, by two goals to zero. And then in another match, FC Copenhagen were, uh, held Sevilla uh, at home to a nil-nil draw. And then in yet another shocking result, Benfica claimed all the three points at Juventus Stadium as they beat Juventus by two goals as they beat Juventus by two goals to one. Juventus previously went ahead very, very early on in the match uh, thanks to a Milik effort, which was quickly cancelled out by a Joao Mario penalty before David Neres claimed all the three points for them. That means in the last seven games, Juventus have only won one match. They've drawn around four matches. They've won one match and they've lost two matches. And that is a very worrying record for, for Max Allegri as far as Juventus is concerned and the kind of backing he had. Elsewhere, Maccabi Haifa were comfortably beaten by PSG at home. They had previously went ahead. Uh, they have previously, previously shockingly went ahead uh, before the goals were quickly cancelled out by Lionel Messi and 
Kylian Mbappe as well as Neymar who put the final nail on the coffin uh, as they claimed all the three points and a scoreline of 3-1. And then uh, lastly, in another entertaining match, Manchester City beat Borussia Dortmund by two goals to one. Uh, Borussia Dortmund had previously gone ahead to a Jude Bellingham effort, but it was quickly cancelled out by a ripping shot from John Stones before Erling Haaland pulled up with an acrobatic effort from a beautiful sublime cross from Joao Cancelo to give Man City a 2-1 win and hence claim all the three points. Looking at the standings so far, in Group A, Napoli are six points uh, are topping with six points, followed by Liverpool on three points. Ajax Amsterdam is third on three points, and Rangers is pulling the tail in that group with zero points. In Group B, Club Brugge is shockingly up. Uh, they have six points. Bayer Leverkusen is next at three points. Atletico Madrid is next at three points. And then FC Porto is pulling the tail at zero points. In Group C, Bayern Munich are apex having won all their matches so far. They have six points. Barcelona is second on three points. Inter Milan is third on three points. And Victoria Pilsen is uh, last with zero points. In Group D, uh, Sporting Lisbon are six points ahead and then followed by Tottenham Hotspur and then next is Eintracht Frankfurt who are both both Eintracht Frankfurt and Tottenham Hotspur have three points apiece and then Marseille is pulling the tail in that particular pool. It is also important to note that Sporting Lisbon have won their first two Champions League group stage matches for the first time in history. Ruben Amorim is obviously doing a very good job there. Yep, in groups, Group E, AC Milan is Apex, they have 4 points, followed by Dynamo Zagreb at 3 points, and then RB Salzburg is next at 2 points, and finally Chelsea pulling the tail in that particular pool uh, with a point. In another group, in Group F, Real Madrid is topping, 6 points having won all their 2 games. Up next is Shakhtar Donetsk at 4 points, Celtic is third, 1 point and RB Leipzig is last with 0 points. In Group G, Man City is Apex, 6 points, Borussia Dortmund is second having lost to Man City last night on 3 points, and then FC Copenhagen is third on 1 point, uh, same to Sevilla who are fourth on 1 point. And lastly in Group H, PSG is Apex having won all their 2 games. 6 points. Benfica is also second. Uh, 6 points. They've also won their last two games. And then Juventus is third on 0 points. And then Maccabi Haifa is pulling the tail on 0 points as well. Yeah. So that is all from me uh, on this week's Champions League uh, results. Please keep it locked. I still have so much more to bring you away as far as football in Europe is concerned. It's your boy Denver Koki representing Gange Gange Sporty. Adios until next time. See ya.